All right, Johnny B back week 13. This might be the final video of the year. I missed a couple weeks here, fellas, and I know on the waiver wire golden nuggets, we've been waiting for um, some videos for those that are listening. I appreciate it. I know I'm not the only show you listen to, but I hope I've helped you this year on a few guys looking back over these names, Tyler Boyd, uh, Chubb. We talked, um, about Josh Adams about a couple weeks ago, and uh, David Moore on Seattle. So hopefully some of these names helped you. You just never know. I don't know. I, I would love to hear your results in some of your leagues, but I was gone a couple weeks here, week 11 and 12, little vacation, and just some other things going on in my life where couldn't put out the video. Um, my leagues are doing very well. I, I am dominating in a dynasty league and another dynasty league. I think I'm in third place. And in Scott Fishbowl, I think I'm ranked 227 out of 900. So I've had a good year, but I will be putting a lot of emphasis into my own leagues. And this is probably the final video. And so this week, uh, you know, Leo Fournette is back. Uh, maybe some of you saw my post. I don't think he's right for the NFL. Yes, he's a, he's a dominant bulldozing sledgehammer. But he was caught fighting and now ejected out of a game. There's ramifications there. He's got an injury history. I just, I, I, I just don't, I don't think he's the right fit for fantasy football owners. I could be wrong, but I, I said he's not the guy. I also said Dalvin Cook was not the guy. Yes, he had a good game last night, but um, I just this year something tells me that Hamstring could come back. Uh, I was staying away from him again. Wrong on that. Wrong on Gronk. I'll admit when I'm wrong. Uh, I thought Gronk had a season injury. Uh, ending injury with that herniated disc he may still not be right but hey he caught that that touchdown from Brady good for him take it or leave it Th those are kind of my observations on on those type of players and you know I'll be damned they, they scored and they did well but um, here's who I'm talking about this week I like Jordan Wilkins a lot now that the situation has changed in Indianapolis I don't think uh, Nahem Hines can take the whole load so you're gonna want to probably jump on this guy I'm sure Hines has already gone in your league anyways same with this guy but you know, for maybe somebody out there, who the hell knows, maybe this guy is just on your waiver wire, go get him, but most of you guys listen at this point. Slim Pickens. Carlos Hyde, I think he'll get more of the early down back uh, yardage rather than Yeldon. Again, I just don't like Yeldon. I know he play, he's been playing good this year, only because of situational football, but I'll go with Hyde on that. And then Josh Reynolds, Dante Pepis, uh, or Pettis, and Adam Humphreys. Guys that you all know, and that should not be on your waiver wire. So my show is really coming to an end. It's more of a thank you to you guys. Again, the same with the tight ends. I don't have anybody else for you other than Hurd on, or on the Jets. Just because the tight end category has really taken a hit. And unless you had Ertz this year or Eric Ebron, I have both of those in several leagues because uh, we run two tight ends. Um, I'm not sure what to tell you. There wasn't really much digging on the waiver wire for these guys. Uh, I'll show you quickly my Scott Fishbowl uh, and how it turned out for me. Right now, I'm 227. Had a huge week, man. Absolutely huge week from Brady. I had uh, Leo Fournette. Yeah, I know. He's on my team. I, but in a tournament like this, it's more redraft. I'll, I'll take him. He sat on the bench so long for me, and now it looks like he's, um, you know, he's suspended. So what are you going to do? I'm in trouble. But this was my team. I drafted early on in the year. I've since changed my mind on a few players. How about Austin Eckler now with the injury to Melvin Gordon? That's a uh, that's a tough one as well. So here you have it. Uh, mostly just thanking you guys for watching the show. Thanks for tuning in. Most of my videos from here on out are not going to be any more uh, weekly advice. I'm, I'm going to help dynasty owners like I have been. Getting a lot more questions on that sort of thing. And I, I, I get it. I mean, no one's really watching uh, my weekly updates all that much anymore. So, and that's fine. I mean, I do this just for fun. So, if I've helped anybody, that's great. And if you're still listening, great. But most of my videos from here on out are going to be more of the MFL. How to start a Dynasty League. There's questions that come up in a Dynasty League. How to run one as a commissioner, which I do in several. And so, this is more of a thank you video. Thanks for tuning in. I, I wish you the best in your playoffs. I'll let you know how I finish in all my playoffs. I made the league. I made the playoffs in every single league I'm in, and now it's just time to win and uh, buy some Christmas toys for my kids. You guys be good out there. Thanks for watching. Good luck in week 13. Johnny B, signing out.